Well, now to the new lawsuit against Warren De La Salle High School, which is still under the cloud of a hazing investigation. That investigation involves the football team. This new lawsuit filed by a student on the wrestling squad. Sean Lay brings us up to speed on what the student is claiming. We're learning tonight this lawsuit does not involve the De La Salle football team, but it does involve the wrestling program. A member of that wrestling team, a student, suing his school, saying they failed to protect him from a vicious assault. The De La Salle student is suing his school, school president, his principal, athletic director, and his wrestling coach, along with the fellow student, over an incident January 24th of 2018 that took place here at the Brother Robert Activity Center in Warren. The student says he was talking to a friend before wrestling practice when a fellow student who allegedly made threats against him in the past viciously attacked him. One punch to the face, the student says he hit his head on the wall and was knocked out. And when he was down, the student says his attacker kicked him in the head. The results, the student says he suffered from a head injury, contusions, had four broken teeth where surgery was needed. The suit reads the student that threw the punch was later convicted of assault. At issue here, the student who says he was attacked says his coach and athletic director apparently knew the attacking student could be violent and they failed to supervise him and failed to protect the rest of the students. The student also says his coach continued on with practice and failed to contact his father, EMS or police. That student looking for damages through this lawsuit. We reached out to the student's attorney. We have not heard back. We also asked the De La Salle president for his side of what's happening here in the lawsuit. We have also not heard back from the president here at De La Salle in Warren. Sean Lake, Local 4.